And now we can start 476 part two. For days I've been doing this. Happy Easter again, everybody. Yes, I am at the uh, Harbor Hotel right now. And uh, if you couldn't already tell, I'm at Seneca Lake. And if you want further proof, there's a better panoramic shot that, uh, that I can do. But uh, I'll see if maybe, there's actually a place I can do it, but let's uh, try and see if I can do it later. So yes, I'm here. I'm in Seneca Lake. I love this area. Now, to longtime viewers of these videos, no, this isn't Cuca Lake. I'll, I'll admit that, but I still think that this place is pretty cool. Oh, the tree right there. Again, I still think this place is pretty neat. In fact, I think it's so neat that for the sake of this video, I actually decided to do a little bit of trivia for you about Seneca Lake. Here's a better shot right here. There we go. A little bit better. Sorry if it's also really foggy too. It's, um, again, it's just how the weather around here works. I mean, it's upstate New York. We get almost everything, but yeah. So actually before I do the trivia, I have to say about, cause I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, how come you're not wearing the green tie? I wanted to guys, I really did. But honestly, that shade of green doesn't really fit with the fact that it's Easter and Easter is more pastel colors. That's why I went with this shirt with this tie. Cause you know, it's, it matches, and again, it's Easter, it's pastel colors, it's awesome. So, with that in mind, how about we get into some fun facts about good old Seneca Lake. Foremost, this is actually the largest of the Finger Lakes. Oh yeah, it's not the longest, but overall, it's the largest. The, lar the longest would actually be uh, Cayuga. See, Seneca Lake is like 38 degrees long, 38 degrees, 38 miles long, I should say. 38 miles long, where Cayuga is almost 40. But I say all around in terms of length and width. That's why Seneca Lake is the largest. It's also the deepest of the Finger Lakes. See, to put things into perspective, I mean, Cuca Lake, it's pretty big. You know, 20 miles long. It's actually the third largest, believe it or not. Again, Cuca Lake, roughly 20 plus miles long with the maximum depth of about 186. Seneca Lake, on the other hand, it's actually 618. That's over three times that amount. So... Keeping those things in mind, with how much bigger than Cuca Lake Seneca Lake is, and considering the fact that this is technically a different area, this lake is also notorious for being very cold when you jump in. And to put that into perspective, three weeks ago when I did the polar bear plunge, it was 39 degree water. Not bad. Oh, that... I mean, I didn't think it was as bad when, you know, I jumped in, but, yeah. Now, understand that even though that it's cloudy today, it's still roughly the same temperature, give or take a couple degrees, that when I did the polar bear plunge three weeks ago. Even though it's been that long, and even though... You know, we're deeper in the spring and we have more of an opportunity for, you know, warmer weather. Oh, actually, I'll just, I'm actually really glad I can actually walk in this dock now. Again, even though we've had better weather in the span of three weeks, I can guarantee you the water here is actually just as cold as when I did the polar bear plunge, if not colder. Again, Sonica Lake is known for being very cold. Well, to be fair, it's actually kind of cold right now, but that's because it's also really windy. So, yeah, there's there's that. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, sorry the, the water's a little murky. Again, it's, you know, springtime, a lot of debris from the wind and the winter, you know, it falls into the water, which may make it warmer or colder. I don't know. But, yeah. This is Seneca Lake. And, again, it's not Cuca, but... I still think this place is pretty darn neat, if you ask me. Oh, actually, a swan. See, I can see a swan over there, sort of, sort of moving around a lot there, like turning his head around a lot. That's neat. See some ducks. That's really awesome. And you know, I don't even care that it's like cloudy or like foggy. I actually really like this motif. I really do. I dig it. You know, it's not the greatest, but, you know, I'll take it. I still like this place that much. Actually, hold on a second. I'm going to see if maybe I can, uh, can I go farther here? Oh, I can't. Sweet. Hold on. I'm going to get one more, uh, super duper awesome panorama shot. Again, it may not be Huca Lake, but I still think being out here, this is pretty darn awesome. I really like this place a lot. And, you know, if you want to say that Seneca Lake is better than Huca Lake or vice versa, I'm not going to stop you. This place is neat. I think it's... I like seeing the word neat. It's simple, it's fun, it's it's nice. And I like that. So yeah. I'm really glad I finally got to show you this video. And hey, now you know some fun facts about Seneca Lake that you would probably just need to Google online to do. I really worked hard on doing this, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> And if you're wondering why I don't have the bear with me, that's really due to the fact that I'm worried that seagulls may come and get him. And I don't want that. Besides, this is, I mean, seeing a grown man carrying a teddy bear walking around this area, that's a little suspect. But whatever, it's cool. Just like this place. And again, I am pumped I was able to show you this. And, uh, you know, again, there's the harbor over there. I'm about to meet my family over there for brunch. Actually wanted to get here early to get this done over with. And, uh, yeah. This is awesome. I love being here. So, again, like, favorite, share, net, that subscribe button. I can really use support on YouTube. Follow me on the social media platform, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. As always... I'm very humble I made this video for you guys to watch and enjoy. I'm hopeful that we're having a wonderful Easter because we're a little further today. And remember, because I want to talk to you, I was going to be here at London here. Now I'll always have you back. Take care and always make good choices. See ya.